Mayang gabi mga kaigsunan ko da sa Gino. Salamat sa aron nga panahon nga kita makatun sa pulong sa Gino. Ug salamat yun sa uh, iyan nga pag-provide sa matagos sa tua, uh, especially sa mua. Uh, nakabalik mo sa Davao uh, safe and sa protection nga gihatag sa Gino. And for this time, uh, let's continue our uh, lesson. Last Wednesday, our lesson is about a Christian resolution. Kung nagayon ng First John chapter three verse three, if you have your Bible with you, First John chapter three verse three, ang pulong si Gino nagayon. And every man that hath this hope in him purified himself, even as he is pure. Ako balikon. And every man that hath this hope in him purified himself, even as he is pure. Magapray kita. Dalaygon ng Dios, salamat ni ning takna sa kagabion, salamat Lord sa mga pagbless sa matagos sa samoa. Ug salamat Lord sa imong nga pulong kanunay nagaw remind that uh, we need to obey it and we need to be comforted by it because so dali lain nga comfort Ginoo sa mga pandila ning mga nga pulong. Ug sa mga nga pagpadayon, ginatugyan, ginapasalamatan ang mga tanan. Lord bless ang mga pagdoon karon ni gabi. And we talked about a New Year's resolution last time. Our New Year's resolution biblical. Mo na usak pangutana nga always nato gina pangutana, but we answered that last Wednesday ang yung dere sa usak a article which is Christian article, God question. Nagayong yung dere that the Bible does not speak for. Wala siya naga speak. For New Year's Day, and even the Bible says in Second Corinthians chapter thirteen verse five that examine yourself. That Jesus Christ is in you, unless indeed you fail to meet the test. The Bible itself says that we need to examine ourselves. A resolution, my son, it's a sort of examination. Sa mga galingon that. Uh, last year on sa akong nagpulang sa Gino, on sa ang mga butang akong gihimo sa Gino nga mas the best pa karon nga tuig. Nga mas ako pang i-desire karon nga tuig. Dere so gituduan kita that we must resolve our hope. Ang challenge is we must resolve our hope in the Lord as we go on this year. One thing akong i-challenge sa tuang tanan nga ang pagbalik ni Hesus Kristo probably most probably karon nga tuig. Karon nga tuig mo balik. Ang Gino That's why we must resolve our hope in the Lord as we go on this year. And there are two biblical resolutions that motivates us to be reminded regarding our hope in the Lord as we go on this year. First is the resolution of our expectation. Ang pag-expectar na to sa pag-abot ni sa Kristo mo na pag-ingon niya sa pulong sa Gino. And everyone who does hopes in Him. And everyone who does hopes in Him, bisan kins or si kins sa katung adunay paglakum di siya. And we need to be resolved in our expectation that as you know, this year might be the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And as we consider the possibility that Jesus could return this year, let's be sure that we are ready. Let's be sure that we are ready sa pagbalik ni sa Kristo. Ang atong pag-expect sa pagbalik ni sa Kristo. That's why He is the everlasting Father. Ang description sa pulong sa Gino sa Isaiah chapter 9. He's the everlasting Father. Meaning, He is uh, he's not only giving us hope in the, in uh, 2,000 years ago, but also this, this years. Ano man, mabalik siya as atong amahan. Mubalik siya as a groom, and we are the bride, the church. That is why the resolution of our expectation. We must resolve in our expectation. We must not lose hope. God will be coming soon, and God will may become, may become this year, my son. Okay, nindot no, kanindot ng karon ng tuig mubalik ang ginoo. Wala nila ng kalipay pa, manang usar kanta. Usakan tangan naga ingon. It will be worth it all when we see Jesus. No, it will be worth it all. Grabi katakus or grabi na sold na ang tanan. Makita na tu si Kristo. I don't know kung makabut pata sa rapture. 
by Jesus Christ. Maybe God will uh, bring us back that siya nga sabakan through death, kamatayon. But it also possible that God that we will go back to Him sa iya ang ikaduang na pagbalik. The expectation, the resolution of our expectation. The second day, my son, ito ang uh, na-mention last uh, Wednesday, the second biblical resolution. Karang nga tuig, not only this year, but until eternity. The resolution of our expectation. Secondly, the resolution of our purification. The resolution of our purification. Nagayang ko ng pulong sa ino sa verse 3. And every man that hath this hope in him, Purifieth himself, even as he is pure. Purifieth himself, even as he is pure. May ikson sa chapter 1 mismo, gisulti ta ni Apostle John. Sa verse, uh, verse, verse 5, said, This then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. And in him is no darkness at all. Verse 6, If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. Verse 7, but if we walk in the light, as He is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanseth us from all sin. And pag abot sa chapter 3, verse 3, ni ng pulong sa ginom, purifieth Himself, even as He is pure. Chapter 1 pa lang, so on, ginapadamduman na kita, that if we are in the light, we don't have if fellowship as uh, sa kangit ngit and even the blood of Jesus Christ cleanseth us when you are cleansed then you are pure muna pag abot sa verse 3 may so ningon ang pulong sa Ginoo that every man that hath this hope in him purify it himself why because first and foremost you are cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ and you are commanded ingon pa sa Chapter 1, verse verse 6, that we have uh, we don't have to walk in darkness because we are in the light. Ang gisulti pa sa ato, adere, ikaduha pa yun, ang giyon sa adere, maging pure kita, tungod kay ang ginuo, putli man. Purify it from the Greek word hagnizo, which means to be cleansed morally. To be cleansed morally, not physically. Doesn't matter kung grabe na kaka hugaw physically or grabe na kang mga sala nga nabuhat di sa Ginoo. Kikabalo kita nga ang tanan nga sala nga atong nabuhat gihugasan na sa Ginoo. Gipasaylo na, na sa Ginoo dito sa cross. Gipasaylo na sa amahan, gipakamat na ni sa Kristo. And pag ini purify it from the Greek word hagnizo which means to be cleansed morally ug na mention pud ang pure it from the Greek word hagnos, which means to lens from every fault. To lens from every fault. O challenge kita mga iksawan. That as we live this life, we have to be remain pure, holy, morally cleansed mga iksawan. That is why the, the resolution that we must uh, make not only this year, but until sa ato ang lifetime, the resolution of our purification. The resolution of our purification. Karong nga panahon may isoon, uh, lisod na kaayo i-distinguish ang right and uh, right and almost right. ba? Na ay right, pero na po'y moral, tama, moral siya tama. Munang ang uban, mag-deceive, uban ng makristuhanon, Adili uh, ma-identify fully. Ano man. Because they, they are not actually uh, muna ingin sa uh, sa pulong sinod, sober-minded. Maging mainabtikon kita. Ano man. Dahil kayo mga 
sa alag ni Satanas dere sa kalibutan may song that makes us that makes us morally unclean. That's so, why ang pulong sa Ginoo nagademind sa tuwa that purified himself even as he is pure. Na mention dere as he is pure. It was referring to the Lord Jesus Christ. And let's uh, look some verses nga nagasulti about the the pureness of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hebrews chapter 7, 7 verse 26. Nagingon ng pulong sa Gino. For it was fitting for us to have such a high priest. Uh, referring to the Lord Jesus Christ. Holy, innocent, undefiled. Separated from sinners and exalted above the heavens. Klaro kayo nga gisulti dito sa book of Hebrews that Christ is a holy priest. Holy priest High priest, innocent, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners and exalted above the heavens. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has been tempted in all things, as we are yet without sin. Can you still remember when Jesus was in the desert? He was tested by Satan, tempted by Satan, Satan I mean, three times, yet he did not dwell in with it. Wala siya natintala itong may kisawal. Muna ang ingin sa verse, chapter 4, sa Hebrews, verse 15. But one who has been tempted in all things, as we are yet without sin, when pointing to the book, of first John chapter 3 verse 3 that purify it yourself even as he is pure even as he is pure because Christ is pure putli hinlo mo nang wala na ilain pang adugo nga dapat isakripisyo sa krus kundi si Sokristo lang mo nang mo nang ingon sa uban nga scholars nga if pwede lang manday nga dugo lang sa laing tao ang pakamatay pwede lang manday nga Di lang si Sokristo. Pero ang ingon sa ingon sa study, may ingon sa pulong sa ginawa yung soon. That only the blood of Christ can cleanse all our unrighteousness. A perfect blood. A blood that is exempted from being uncleanness. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 21 and 22. For to this you have been called because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example so that you might follow in his steps. And uh, this line, He committed no sin, neither was deceit found in his mouth. Ang anak kapyor ang ginoo. He committed no sin. O kang pinakagrabi pa yun. Walay ni bisan isa nga nakita nga malaw ay gikan sa mga baba. In ana ka perfect ang pagkinabuhi ni Kristo. In ana ka putli ang pagkinabuhi ni Kristo even na dire sa kalibutan. Many years ago may iso. Mo nang giingnan kita sa chapter 3 verse 3 that purified himself even as he is pure. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 26. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15 First Peter chapter 2 verse 21 and 22 referring to Christ nga gisulti sa chapter 3 sa John first John that he is pure and another another proof mga ison another proof mga ison that Jesus uh, Jesus is pure is one proof is his claim of or as he is the living water Claim as he is the living water. If you can still remember that he was saying to the Samaritan woman that if you are going to drink the water, the living water, it gives you no thirst. Dili na ka mauhaw pa. It speaks of satisfaction. But not only the message of satisfaction, but also the message of 
of clean, cleansing of this water. Ag pag, ang paghinlo ni ini nga tubig, living water. A dirty water cannot, a cannot cleanse a dirty man, my son. Ang hugaw nga tubig, dili makahinlo sa hugaw nga tao. Ano man, kung ibubunin mo ang hugaw nga tubig sa hugaw nga tao, sa mo siya gahugaw. Sa mo siya gahugaw. But only a clean water can cleanse a dirty man. Do you agree? Only a clean water or a pure water can cleanse a dirty man. One proof that saying that Jesus Christ is pure. Muna pag abut sa chapter 3, purify himself, yourself even as he is pure. May soon, as we go on this new year, and as long as we live, we must live a life of being pure, a life of holiness. Naging unang pulang sa kinaw, Be holy, for I am holy. Unsa yung mga sipyat na ito ni Agi, unsa yung mga atraso na ito sa kinaw ni Agi, we have to resolve it this year and even until eternity. That Lord, I want to walk with purity. Lord, I want to walk with holiness. Lord, I want to walk with it. And there are biblical helps for our purification, may so. There are basic biblical helps. Ang kabalo na kita ni But I just want you to be reminded of this. First, always read the Bible. Pasa sa pulong sa ginoon. And uh, don't, uh, don't only read it, but read it with comprehension. Read it with comprehension. And actually, dili dili guarantee ang 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 dagan kag nabalan sa Bible or dagan kag theology nga nabalan or dagan kay doktrina or grabe ni mga intellectual nga tao. But simple lang. Simple lang. You have to read the Bible with comprehension. Unsay ga reveal sa Ginoo sa tuwa diri. Unsay gisulti sa Ginoo sa tuwa diri. It will make and it will help us to be holy. It will help us to be perfect. Not perfectly, not perfect, but ang idea to be mature ni ini nga kalibutan sa mga buhita. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16 and 17, sa imun sa pulong sa gino. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness. That the man may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Kalayo. Kalaro kayo. Nga ang usak ka help na to may son. Biblical help for our purification. Always read the Bible. It is a one, only one way that God communicates us. Biblia lang. Wala. Ay, uh, yes, God can uh, speak to us directly, maybe because He is powerful. Pwede siya makasulti directly sa ito ah. But ang Bible mismo, ang first yung communication na ito dahil sa ginawa. God is speaking through His Word. It is a complete uh, without a Without error, complete okay ni This is one way that God communicates us. Always read the Bible. And klaro ka sa 2 Timothy chapter 3. For instruction in righteousness that the man of God, that the man of God, referring to you, referring to me, referring to the Christians, referring to those who believe Christ is for personal Lord and Savior. That's why no wonder May so on that unbelievers will not uh, take this seriously because they are not the man of God. They are not a man of God. But we, 
as a man, as a children of God, we need to read this word. It is one of the helps for our purification. Secondly, biblical helps for purification. Always read the Bible. And secondly, always pray for God's assistance. Always pray for God's assistance. We are still under the influence of sin. And we are living to this world of sin. We can't carry the burden of this world. That is why we need the assistance of God. We need the assistance of God. Hindi so, dili kakalikay kung ikaw lang. Dili kaka sugakod kung ikaw lang. All you have to do is to ask for God's assistance. Lord, ginoo tabangi ko. Lord, tabangi ko. Lord, din ako ni kaya. Ano yung mga butang nga, hindi yun natropay na sa kalibutan mo yun. Ano yung mga tintas yun nga, kung padulong pa lang ta, murag mama, murag biraho, murag magnet ba? Pagdali, para dali na mo man ang tintas yun. Always pray for God's Lord. Help me to resist this kind of temptation. As we are waiting sa pagbalik sa ginawa, there will be purification nga dapat may tabok sa yung kinabuhi. Maybe that our purification, uh, that our purification until Jesus comes, not only our goal, may it be that our purification until Jesus comes, not only our goal this year, but also until eternity. Until eternity may so the resolution of our purification. O klaro atong gitunan ng si Kristo mismo, putli na tayo verses ng mga ginapang basa. Even as sa iya nga claim that He is the living water, it speaks not only for satisfaction, but it speaks also for purity. That is why the challenge sa ato, we have to be to live Purely, my son. We have to live purely. Mo nang a challenge sa tamig siyon that we have to be resolved this year in our hope that we we don't know kung kano sa mo balik si Kristo. That is why we have to be ready, not only on our expectation dia but also on our purification ng ginoo. Saan tangga paabot ko sa mong pagbalik, nagabuhat ko sa mga maayong nga mga butang. Nagabuhat ko sa mga butang nga makapahimaya sa mong mga. Makapahimaya sa inya. Not for yourself, not an egocentric na pagkinabuhi. But Christocentric. If a resolution is not God-honoring or not with agreement with God's word, we will not receive God's help in fulfilling that resolution. And that will be our two biblical resolution that we have to make this year, make zone. The resolution of our expectation and the resolution of our purification. Mona, back sa tong introduction, ingon ng sa author there is no problem of making New Year's resolution. But the problem is, is this. What resolutions you make? What New Year's resolutions did you make? Unsa na? Kay kung puro sa imong kaugaligon, then that is the problem. Pero ang resolution ng imong gimo is for the glory of the Lord, then it is not a problem. Klaro tayo. The Bible does not speak. Wala siya nag-speak against any Kung wala po siya nag-speak for, uh, uh, for pag ano, pag ganing, pag endorse or pag, pag encourage ato to do New Year's resolution. Pero ang pulong sa ginawa nag that we have to examine ourselves. Examine yourself. And the best time to examine is this starting of this new year. Kung sa mga butang, wala na yung muna yung last year. Kung sa mga butang, nagkulang kasi ginawa last year. 
Or unsa yung mga butang nga kulang pa last year nga dapat ni i resolve this year. Nga igsuon hopefully that is the uh, this too is one of our resolutions. And it must be because God will come very very soon. Are you excited? If you are excited, you have to make this to resolution. A resolution of our expectation and the resolution of our purification. Make soon. Salamat sa inyong panahon. And hopefully this uh, sermon will remind us. Uh, remind us ato ang paglakaw diha uban siya. And as we leave this worldly, uh, worldly place, we have to remain pure. Yes, God bless everyone and see you next Wednesday.